My name is Flo Meunier. I uh, play drums for a band called Cryptopsy and another band called Ultimas. And yes, we are in Mirabel, Quebec. Yeah, the Quebec scene back in the uh, 90s, the bands that came out of here have been really special because you had the American death metal scene and then you had the kind of Swedish, more melodic death metal out in Europe. Quebec just kind of took both, made its own that was a little bit even techier than you know the States and, and Europe. Uh, so many great bands uh, came from here. Cryptopsy is based more on, on technique and speed and extremes and I do use a little bit more finesse, uh, whereas Ultimas is a little bit more breathing uh, with a little bit more you know, groove. So I have a chance to explore with uh, dynamics and rudiments and ghost noting and feel a little bit more with that. Well, the first time I used triggers was on None So Vile. I looked for a trigger that I could use and that was easy to use and that was responsive towards the BPMs that we were reaching. And that's when I was introduced to the Roland products. Started using them and haven't looked back. <laughs> Problems with an acoustic kit in a death metal setting, if you just use a mic and your sound guy isn't the best in the world, your bass drums are gonna sound like mud. Triggers cut through. We want the audience to hear what's going on. And when you have a triggered sound, it's very easy to mix because we can put the frequencies that aren't competing with guitars and aren't competing with the bass and sound like a bass drum. And with the Roland products and the importing of your own samples in the TM2, for instance, what you hear on the album, you're gonna hear live. For the style of music that we do, this is basically our go-to. You know, and definitely my go-to. Dude, this has been on tour with me for the past 12 years. It's a workhorse. I use the TM2 to trigger the bass drum and the SPD SX for samples. And the backing tracks and I have a click and guitars in my ears and I don't need to hear anything else. But the sounds I'm using for Cryptopsy, the last album sound, so Book Suffering Tome 2. And for Ultimas, Something Wicked Marches In, that bass drum sound. Yeah, the convenience of using the Roland electronic pads when recording for the bass drum is that it's silent. There's no bleed into the mics, hi-hat, snare, toms, and what have you. So it's super easy for the engineer uh, to take that sound and then to take all the other sounds and doesn't have to cut things out or gate everything because it's super silent. And because there's so much bass drum work in this music, it just makes it super easy to have that. And the response is really great for that kind of playing too, for, for double strokes or single strokes. You want to be unique, you want to grab bits and pieces from as many sources as you can and then make it your own. It's all metal, it's all music, it's all fun.